Hey everybody, welcome to my visual arts class online. I'm excited to be your teacher, I'm Mr. Weekman, and I get the opportunity to work with you on growing your skills as an artist. In this class, you'll really have hopefully things that'll not get in the way of you exploring the creative process. As your teacher, I am a visual artist myself. I work and have consistent time throughout the year in my studio whether that's then producing work for a show or commissions. And I really do believe that this class is going to give you an opportunity to learn through failure and to find success in a safe place where you can explore who you are and explore your creative process. I wanna walk you through a couple things here in the class. So first, the idea of art supplies, right? You can have really uh, fancy art water, like let's say these are the watercolors, right? These are $230 watercolor paints. And then you could have this $3 watercolor set. Now, what you make doesn't necessarily depend on your supplies. What you make depends a lot on your effort and your creativity. So I do have a list of different supplies that I suggest you get. Uh, or find something similar to. And really, when it comes down to it, I don't want supplies to get in your way of making something great. How do you document the actual things you're making? So let's say you're making them in a sketchbook or you're making them on a larger sheet of paper or on a canvas, or if it's more like you're doing photography or whatever that may be, what I want you to do is whether you have a nice DSLR you know, camera that you want to use to take the picture and then pop the SD card out and then plug it into your computer and upload it to your slideshow that way, or whether you have you know, the presentation app on your phone and you just want to take the picture with your phone, you know, get good lighting and document it and then upload it to your slideshow even on your phone. That's maybe a nice easy if you have the app on your phone to just consistently update your portfolio. Um, and then the last one would be if you have your Chromebook or your computer and it has a webcam, you could always take and like hold that. It's just a little trickier to then use your camera on your actual device. Um, but all three of those are great options. Uh, maybe it's borrowing someone else's uh, phone if you don't have one, but I just don't want you to feel like it gets in the way. One thing I have seen over the time that I've taught online is sometimes students will take pictures like, cause they're working at night, so they don't have the lights on and it's really dark and hard for me to see. So it's hard for me to grade um, appropriately to the quality of work that's there. So what I would always suggest is make sure you have your lights on or go by a window, natural lighting's really good. And having a documentation um, of your artwork that visually represents the time you put into it. It's hard to fake effort when you're drawing and making sure that you have a light source that's there so that I can actually see the lines that are there or the marks that are there. Uh, the final thing is with this, let's say you're doing a project and you just don't like how it turns out. You're really disappointed because you, it's a tricky thing doing art and making something new or making something creative. So if you don't like how it turns out, all I ask is that you take a picture of it before you crumple it up or frustratingly throw it in the trash. Just document the effort and I can then grade and give you points for that effort that maybe you don't want to see anymore. Because if you spend two and a half hours on something, I can say, well, that's a good thing that you went through that process, that you learned through that frustration or that failure. And then, you know, maybe you turn in the next project that, or the next part of the project that, that turned out a little bit better. And be patient with yourself and realize that it takes a long time to master these skills and the people on TikTok or Instagram Reels or whatever it is that look like they do it so effortlessly, they've been practicing for a long time and oftentimes they started in a class like this. So be patient with yourself and enjoy the process. Next, I wanna talk about how you're gonna turn in your work. So I want you to create a slideshow of some sort, whether that's Google Slides or PowerPoint, and then each week you're going to kind of create a um, title that says the week and the assignment, and then you'll have your sketchbook work and your final project on maybe two different slides. If you wanna put them together on one slide, that's okay. Um, but I would suggest just having two different slides that have your work that I can visually see, and then each week you'll just turn in that same slideshow and you'll create a portfolio of the things you make. 
the final thing I want to talk about is just how this class is going to go. I believe that as an artist, the best thing you can do is put miles on your pencil and just practice as much as possible. So with that in mind, we have a sketchbook assignment that we're going to almost have every week. And then you're going to have a project assignment that'll show your creative thinking that will take a little bit longer. So in your sketchbook, I anticipate, you know, your sketches taking 20 to 30 minutes. So not an excessive amount of time. And then that will hopefully warm you up for the final project for each week. And those projects will, you know, be in those more to two to four hour range for how long it should take. So if you were in a studio class in person, that would be kind of the expectations and how much time you have. So those are the way I set up these online classes. Now I'm really excited to have an opportunity to work with you and to get to know you. Please, for my sake and for yours, include as much about yourself and explore as much about yourself as you can in the work that you do. That's what being an artist is all about. Exploring yourself, your story, and exploring the world around you. Let's have a great class.